Number 34. Use the standard free energy data in Appendix G to determine the free energy change for each of the following reactions, which are run under standard state conditions and are at 25 degrees Celsius. Then we have to identify either as either a spontaneous or a non-spontaneous reaction at these conditions. Okay, so we have 2 Cu solid plus S gas yields Cu2S solid. Now we need to find that free energy change. Keep in mind that a change is always a delta, right? Products minus reactants, final minus initial. And since we're trying to solve for free energy, the more specific name for free energy is Gibbs free energy and G for Gibbs. So we're solving for a delta G value. Now, since we're solving for, you know, or we're using standard data from the back of a textbook, we're solving for delta G notch. This notch means that it's always standard numbers in the back of a textbook. So I had to go to appendix G. Your appendix might be different, but our numbers should relatively be the same. So copper solid would be zero. Sulfur gas would be 238.25, and the Cu2S is negative 86.2. What is the formula if we just have delta G values? Well, it's this right here. Delta G for the whole entire reaction equals the sum. That's this little symbol here. Sum, aka plus, right? Sum of your products minus the sum of your reactants. So let's see, are these numbers going to be the same or are they going to be different? Well, it depends on what the coefficients are. There was two coppers, no number in front of the sulfur. That means that there was one of them and no number in front of the Cu2S. That means that there was one of them. You're going to take those coefficients and you're going to times them by your delta G value. So for copper solid, it would be two times zero. But I mean, anything times by zero is just zero. This would be one times 238.25. And then this would be one times negative 86.2. Now we have to sum them up. Literally, it's Cu solid plus S gas. So it'd be this number for the copper plus this number for the, the sulfur. I don't have to sum anything up on the product side because I don't have any other uh, product. So now let's just do the math. Well, here, zero plus this number is just going to be 238.25. And then for the product side, this would be the same number as well, negative 86.2. Now we have our two values. Let's plug it into our equation. Delta G for the whole entire reaction is products minus reactants, negative 86.2 minus 238.25. So I'm going to plug it into Calci. Let's see what we get. Delta G for the whole entire reaction equals negative 26.2 minus 238.25. Going to enter that in. Now, we do get a full answer of negative 324.45. However, we have to go by sig figs. Since this is only to the tenths place, and this is to the hundredths, we're only allowed to take it to the tenths place. So this four five, the five rounds the four up to a five. And this would be in kilojoules. Keep in mind that you're taking your kilojoule per mole value and timesing it by your coefficients. The coefficients are moles. So moles cancel out and you're just left with kilojoules. And that is your final answer. Now from here, we have to just identify, was this spontaneous or was this not spontaneous? Well, that comes from information that you probably have to memorize. Delta G, anything less than zero, which means that it's a negative value, will always be spontaneous. It does not need any extra external amount of energy to produce the, um, the product. But on the flip side, if a delta G is greater than zero, that's a plus, that's not spontaneous. And that means that you do need extra amounts of energy to make the product. So here I have a negative value. So no, no extra energy needed. This is spontaneous.
And that's the answer. I'll box this in. And there we go. This one's in the books. What do you think? I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Subscribe to the channel. I hope you all are having a great day. Keep studying hard. And good luck on your tests and quizzes, all right? Talk to you soon. Tell your friends and classmates about this channel. You might be able to help them out. And good luck. Okay, bye.